I think the first thing that you think of coming from Denmark when you think of Texas is like cowboys and radio shows. So I thought, well, Texas is maybe more the real America. I lived in another co-op when I got here. That was, well, more people were living there than my current co-op. And after a month, I moved to this new co-op. And uh, we are about, I think, five or six international students, and the rest are Americans. It's usually pretty calm here when I wake up, uh, but I think there's more going on earlier because I wake up a little later than most people in the co-op because I have classes later. Good morning, Nikia. Before I got here, I spent half a year taking a break from university where I was at a high school, but also a very Danish thing. Uh, it translates best into folk school, but you can basically go there anytime in your life. And the idea of the school is that it's a place that you go just for the sake of learning and pursuing new interests. I think the academic structure in the university here is also a lot different than in Denmark. It was also challenging for me when I got here uh, because I think the workload in general is higher. There are more assignments all the time, but the assignments tend to be easier and shorter uh, around 6.30 today. So I'm going to go there and bring my camera and see what I can get. Things are very different here in Austin than in Copenhagen. If you go to a football game here, just to see all those people in their Longhorn t-shirts and how enthusiastic they are about being a Longhorn, that's crazy. We have nothing like that in Copenhagen. Being here all by yourself as an international student is just challenging in itself. And uh, I find myself missing the support of my family and my friends a lot. When I get very homesick, I just try to call my friends or my family. I usually have to call my family back home before four in the afternoon because of the time difference. Uh, Copenhagen is seven hours ahead, so if I call them too late, they are probably asleep. Hello, can you hear me? Hello. Yeah, fik du mit opkald? Der er lidt dårlig forbindelse. Usually around seven o'clock, uh, when dinner is ready, they ring the bell and everyone comes out to have mm, dinner together. I was gonna go on this uh, international student pop crawl thing, but um, I didn't sign up in time. I'm gonna miss all the great friends that I've made here. So I do feel kind of homesick sometimes. I don't think I'm ready to go home yet. There is still so much I want to experience. And that's where I'm gonna put my name when I leave. And I don't think one semester was enough, unfortunately.